you believe it, my fabulous camera guy Llewellyn is on lockdown and I'm forced to do my own camera work. So if I look like Keith Richards, that's just bad luck to me. I'm actually extremely gorgeous. Okay, so it's 4th of April 2020 and there's very little happening in the world. But there's lots going on in your heads. The question here is, how are we all coping with limited freedom, endless rules, worldwide panic, are we using the time to rethink our lives and clean up our acts? Are we ranting and raving and throwing things at the wall? Are we lazing about tossing alcohol down our throats? It's a tough choice. As they say, whatever gets you through the night. Thanks for listening to Astrology with Linda Shaw. Don't forget to subscribe, it's free. And press the bell thing, you'll be sent reminders. That's another that. Let's get to the stars. breathing dragon are you asking yourself when will this hideous movie be over or have you already punched a few holes in the wall and decided that God obviously hates you it's an understandable conclusion even so this is where you have to learn how to breathe and manage your impatience if you're all alone you're probably having a slightly easier time because there's no one around to get on your nerves but very few of you are alone at a time like this you would have made sure of that in which case Take a look out your window on Wednesday night, assuming you have a window. There's a full moon and it's in your sign of lovers, which means if you want to make sure you're still loved when the drama is over, you'll have to be nice and calm and make tea occasionally. You can do that, can't you? That's it for Aries. Taurus, my little buttercup, are you tottering nervously about nurturing your beetroot seedlings so you'll have something to eat when the apocalypse arrives? Have you been making funeral arrangements just in case anything terrible happens? Will you please calm down before you give yourself a heart attack? Stress is the biggest killer in the world. Stress. So you need to find a few distractions to keep you vaguely sane. Wednesday's very delicious full moon is a super moon, which means it's closest to the earth, and that means your emotions are even more powerful than usual. If you have someone gorgeous with you, make it one of those romantic, passion-filled evenings with flowers and champagne and the heal a lot. If not, pamper yourself with every available delight. If you must be emotional, opt for passion instead of despair, and smile. That's it. Gemini, my fluffy little chicken. Has everyone added you to their WhatsApp group so you can keep them amused? Are you already sick of being the village clown? Or have you tried singing over your balcony and being told to shut the hell up? So what's next? Ask yourself, which part of your life you're unhappy with? Do you have the kind of relationships that only last for 10 minutes? Are you terrified of intimacy and always make a joke of everything? Were you ever shown how to love? Or is it the finances that are causing you problems? Are you wondering whether you still have a job? Here's your chance to change the energy around you. Don't be too impatient. Change takes a little while. The first step is to realize that you have the power to transform your life. Now ask for help. And keep a lookout for clues. It's all happening now. That's it for Gemini. Cancer, my little chocolate milkshake, how are you doing out there in the wilderness? It's getting to you, isn't it? All this emotion, all this compulsory courage, all this group energy reminding us we're all in this together. It's all too much for you, and you're on the verge of a lengthy weep-a-thon. Well, go ahead. There's no better time to explore all those emotional depths, especially with Wednesday's supermoon adding to the intensity. So then, when you've poured your heart out to yourself, Stand up and resurrect that fabulous courage. Your strength is needed now. And just because you're sick of everyone's demands doesn't mean you'll be given the night off. Leaders have to lead. And you're our source of emotional strength. That's just the way it is. So get some sleep, write down your dreams, make soup for whoever wants it. And then, how about a recipe book for lockdowns? Everyone needs one of those. That's it for cancer. Leo, my gorgeous little dumpling, are you the one singing lustily on the balcony entertaining the masses? And if there aren't any masses, 
you were obviously the one languishing on the couch staring gorgeously at the TV. Don't let this fabulously creative spark pass by just because no one's paying any attention. Find ways to express your fabulosity. How about a lockdown podcast or singing lessons online? Whatever it is, it'll be fabulous. Still, you probably need some rest before you get started. Your health is really taking strain and you'll have to start paying attention to your poor body sooner or later, sooner. But you already know that and you've stocked up on all the necessary health goodies. What heals you most though is a chance to create. So get out your paints or your tap shoes and make some music, be magnificent. That's it for Leo. Virgo, my little cream puff. You're being weirdly distracted by everyone's demands. But what's new? Except, of course, with the world as mad as it is, their needs are far more excessive than usual and you're really starting to take strain. Actually, your health would be fabulous if it weren't for that bizarre urge to binge on chocolate bars or whatever your thing is. But, you know, so what if you do? If you like, make this a fat week. And don't fret about turning into a slug. By May, you'll be back on the treadmill of a vengeance. Meanwhile, you're the one still dispensing health tips to anyone who's listening. In fact, you're probably one of those health workers slaving away in the dark. Just give yourself permission to be less than perfect. It's that kind of work. That's it for Virgo. Libra, my sparkling little unicorn, have you had enough? Is the air from all those stale relationships and crappy decisions starting to fry your brain? Are you finally going nuts? Or is the sudden and frankly outrageous display of rebellion something that's been coming for a while? Of course not, darling. This is just your way of coping with an impossible situation. One in which you're not even required to comb your hair. The point is, you're almost ready to make some changes, but you'll want to be sane when you make them. So make a list of the ways in which you want to transform your life. This is a time when affirmations and mantras really work. When you've got time to sit and meditate on your perfect life, it really is possible to make some magic. You just have to believe you're worth it. That's it for Libra. Scorpio, my little Chihuahua, have you been grinding your teeth all night? Have you only got tiny little stumps left in your head? You'll have to get one of those bite plate things from your dentist, as soon as you're allowed out, of course. Meanwhile, you'll have to soothe yourself into a calmer place, preferably before your jaw alignment has gone for good. How about asking your housemates for a massage? If you're alone, start meditating. The internet will help you if you don't know how. Wednesday's fabulous supermoon brings out all your magical skills. Make a note of your dreams and ask yourself what would really make you happy. You've completely forgotten, haven't you? You've been so busy accepting life as it is, you've lost complete track of your dreams. Take note of whatever makes you smile. Get to know yourself again. Fall in love with your life. This is your chance to rewrite your script. That's it for Scorpio. Sagittarius, my little bunny rabbit, what have you been doing to your poor long-suffering body? Mind you, it's not all your fault. Your health planets are on a break and they've taken half your body with them. Stomach, kidneys, hips, shoulders, lungs. It's best not to smoke now. Not ever really, but definitely not now. And pay attention to the signs. Your body will tell you what to do. It just needs a teeny bit of nurturing. Lay off the spicy foods for a while. And one more thing, if your family is even more demanding than usual, just smile and wave. It won't last. Everyone's feeling a bit insecure now, so they're zoning in on your strength. Give them whatever they need, and then take some time for yourself. It won't be long before you're thrown back into your old life, so make the most of this time while you have it. That's it for Sagittarius. Capricorn, my little lamb chopper, you're still fretting about every little thing. Look, no matter how much you may want your life to be different, it is what it is. Complaining won't make the slightest bit of difference. But if you're looking for some kind of serenity, try staying in the now. It's only when you're completely absorbed by what you're doing this moment that you feel calm. The moment you start fretting about what you did yesterday or what you have to do tomorrow, you immediately start to panic. So while you've got time, make a list every morning of what you need to do today. You love lists, so that shouldn't be too hard. Meanwhile, pay attention to your dreams. There's a fabulously powerful super moon on Wednesday, and it's zoning in on your unconscious. 
Listen out for messages from the universe. You're at your most powerful now. You can have whatever you dream of. It's true. That's it for Capricorn. Aquarius, my little hot dog, are you doing your very best to avoid all the emotional trauma? That's excellent, but not really possible. We have a super moon on Wednesday which means the full moon is closer to the earth than ever and it's zoning in on your emotional baggage, forcing you to look at it. So go ahead, pull it all out. You need to know what you're dealing with before you can fix it. And this is as good a time as any, when you have some space and very few expectations. No one can ask you for anything now, so your life is currently all about you. In case you haven't figured it out yet, emotions are normal and amazingly healthy. Let them in. If you block your emotions, you block your creative flow too. They come from the same place. How about painting your feelings? Two birds with one stroke, you see? Genius! Let it out to play. That's it for Aquarius. Pisces, my little muffin, have you gone into a complete decline? That's okay. It's an emotional time and you have this ghastly habit of picking up on everyone else's vibes anyway. Maybe you need to poke your head outside and breathe in some fresh air. Look, either way, there's a gorgeous full moon on Wednesday. It's actually a super moon, which means it's about as close to the earth as you can get. So it's making your emotions even more powerful than usual. This doesn't have to be a bad thing. Your emotions are your creative source. If you have someone delicious with you, make Wednesday a wild, passion-filled night. If you're alone, just pamper yourself. You know, have a ball, have a bath with bubbles. If you must be emotional, Opt for passion, not despair, and then write down your thoughts. You're tuning into global energies. Plenty of people will benefit from what you can see. That's it for us. Thank you, you fabulous creatures, for listening to Astrology with Linda Shaw. Remember to wash your hands every five seconds and then laugh out loud. Stress is a much bigger killer than any boring old virus. Keep smiling, even if you don't feel like it. You soon will. Now, if you'd like to subscribe, just press the button, it's free. And have a great week. Remind yourself every five minutes just how amazing you are. Give yourself permission to succeed, it's important. Bye now.